Welcome to Backstage with Kennedy This the show will be your remedy From Toronto spanning across the sea Cool people, lots of laughs This is your favorite podcast Hello and welcome. My name is Kennedy from the Backstage with Kennedy podcast. I got an awesome guest today, uh, Callie from Bad Waitress. If you don't know of Bad Waitress, they are one of the sickest bands in Toronto. Awesome <laughs> punk band. They got a song, uh, Sedative, which you have to check out. Uh, it's catchy as hell. It's hard as shit. You got to listen. So, Callie, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing all right. I'm getting by. I mean, I worked all day, my my nine to five, and uh, I'm just happy to be home and you know doing the, this interview with you now. So yeah, yeah. things things are good. Things are good. So I I was I've done a lot of research on on Bad Waitress um, over like the last couple months because uh, you, you guys caught my eye and a good friend of mine, uh, Kyle from the Filthy Radicals, actually put me on your music. Um, and I know you and Kyle have known each other for quite a while through touring and stuff like that and shows and just the punk scene in general. Uh, so that's kind of cool that we could make this interview work. Uh, so shout out to Kyle on that one. But, um, so, so, so how did Bad Waitress start? Because I'm familiar with like the most recent stuff, but I'm not very familiar with like the beginnings of Bad Waitress. Can you like let people know how kind of the band formed? Yeah, so uh, the band started with just me and Eva. Um, We were called the Nude Dogs, and we started out as a two-piece and just started fucking around in a garage and writing shitty janky tunes. (laughs) And then then, uh, Jessica joined the band, uh, which was our old bass player, and then Caitlin joined the band, and then Jess left the band, and then Nicole joined the band, and it was Bad Waitress, so yeah. So it's been a process, but yeah, we're definitely, like, where we want to be now. Perfect. I, I think that's evident in your music, too. You you seem like, um, I like to say, use the term unit, like, you seem like all all one when you're, um, when you're just the sound, even, you know what I mean? um that that last uh project you put out was beautiful beautiful thing (laughs) um so what what kind of influenced the sound like i know you chicks are like pretty badass but like what created this like super punk rough sound uh that you have uh kind of created is is it um like like what what's the influence from there um it's pretty uh pretty all over the place i guess um uh, and I'll have to correct you too, um, just because some of us are n- uh, not, I'm not going to say names at this point, but like some of us are uh, now wanting to be addressed as they, so we're not a chick okay. fan anymore. Absolutely, just, sorry about that. Just, uh, just throwing that out there, just because that's yeah. the thing. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, we have a lot of different influences. I know Eva has a lot of like David Bowie and... Um, you know that mostly David Bowie. Oh, Kyle, uh, Kyle Jewett just messaged me. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Caitlin, she she used to like play on the streets of like in BC, just like playing blues guitar on the streets. And Nicole comes from like a kind of weird, uh, funky, jazzy weird <laughs> just uh, she's been in some kind of experimental bands a lot and then i just i uh, i don't know where <laughs> i came out of the bushes <laughs> yeah but like i me and caitlin definitely um bonded over like blues music uh which is you know you don't like really see that in our music necessarily. yeah but like i think a lot of what comes through our music is just kind of more what we um have experienced in life more like than we, what what we like what uh, like other bands were like trying to sound like you know so yeah no i, I feel that 100 percent. i feel that 100 percent. so um i know that you are on um you're working with Colorado. um uh, yeah. royal mountain records yeah yeah so how has that 
how have they Royal Mountain Records? How have they like helped guide you along the way? Has have they been a big influence in the guidance of your band? Um, I'd say that they've been a very helpful influence, but like they they let us like do our own thing, but they give us advice. You know, they've been really yeah. good to us. Um, they, they try really hard to get us the, you know, what we deserve. So yeah, I have nothing bad to say about them. And, okay. uh, like, yeah, like Colorado and them, like we've toured with them a couple times and they're rad dudes. Like they're really nice and awesome. So yeah. I feel you on that. So punk rock bowling, obviously we're all kind of looking forward to that this year. Um, a lot of my friends were, were planning on going down there. It was going to be, uh, you, you were going to be on the bill. Um, how has that kind of made the band feel and made you feel in regards to bouncing back from that? Because obviously that's out of your control. You can't, you can't make the festival happen if it's not going on. How have you as a band been able to um, move along with that? Um. I think uh, practicing patience <laughs> is a great thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been able to do some like a uh, lot, like a lot of people have been doing live stuff from home, like where you, you know, you like play and then you like chop it all together and send them like the video like that. So, you know, yeah. we're still isolating. Um, and I think that's pretty much, <clears throat> pretty much it. And doing, you know, interviews here and there and just kind of waiting for everything to calm down yeah, yeah no i i feel that like and and i saw that and i was like well that's a really exciting opportunity you know what i mean so i i i think the strong survive and bad waitress is definitely strong and i'm <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing what what happens in the future like i know that um a lot of the bands are coming back i'm sure you are on that list of who's going to be playing next year for um for punk rock bowling am i right on that yeah yeah yeah. perfect so you'll just have to do it bigger and better next year i guess oh yeah it's gonna be even better for sure absolutely so so what has bad waitress been working on these days oh i mean since covid happened yeah nothing really (laughs) um just um you know, uh, listening to what's going on in the world and trying to are doing our best to um, support like people like, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, get involved, like get aware. Mostly, I think is the biggest thing. And um, we all have, you know, our different uh, ways of getting involved. Um, uh, but... Yeah, just I, like personally, I've just been learning a lot, yep. um, and yeah, I've just been learning <laughs> and, and listening. I think is the biggest thing for me. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so, are you recording a a new project? To what what seems to be okay. going on with that? Ah, uh, no. So we we already recorded it. It's okay. All done. It's all done. Sick. We were supposed to be like we were supposed to be releasing it and then uh uh like touring it this like now pretty much you know mm-hmm. so now we have to wait <laughs> so uh, yeah so we're just waiting till like probably next like next year you know after winter so we can go like tour it or whatever so just for sure just waiting things out you know yeah so so you and i you and i spoke briefly about um something about a uh, like a little festival like a campground festival uh, with like li- like live sessions, can can you uh, elaborate on that a little bit more for the people who don't know about that? I uh, yeah. Um, so we're just going to like River and Sky Festival has like, like um, a festival every year outside outside of Sudbury. Okay. I guess. Uh, <laughs> and we did it last year, and <laughs> we were supposed to do it this year, but. Um, you know, COVID happened, but they've been inviting, like, uh, people out to, like, just, like, few bands at a time to, like, go Mm -hmm. do, like, a set outside and, like, uh, record it, and I'm I'm not, yeah, so it's just, like, recording, I don't think it's a live broadcasting, (laughs) Okay. but, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go record out there, and then, yeah. 
Perfect. Is is it a, is it acoustic or is it uh gonna no, be like plugged in? It'll be plugged in. Yeah. Perfect. Hope, perfect. Hope to God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So so Kelly, I've been asking um a lot of bands recently because I mean as you know, uh being in the Toronto punk scene, um in the Toronto music scene as a whole, I guess there's a lot of venues that are really struggling right now. Um, so I like to like kind of spotlight venues that you may enjoy and a, a story you may have with one of the venues. What's your favorite venue, Kelly, in Toronto? And what do you have any like awesome stories about that venue? Um, yeah, I'd have to, I have to say, uh, the Piston is probably one of my favorite venues to have played. Mm -hmm. Um, back in the day. We played, I can't remember, we, I think it might have been, I don't know, we were, we, I think we were, we were headlighting some show, and it was, like, just a crazy show, like, people were just, like, throwing glass bottles everywhere, and, like, Jeez. and Caitlin was, Caitlin was there after the uh, show, I think, I think it was her, I can't remember clearly, but, they, or someone got a video, or they sent it to Caitlin, anyway, they got a video of, like, the guys like who work there like sweeping up the <laughs> all the glass and they're like fucking bad waitress or something <laughs> and that's like the video and it's just like it, yeah i remember just walking out of the piston and there's just glass all over the floor and just like <laughs> that was uh that, i just remember that being a really good show and the, that's a guy, piston, yeah that's like a we came we conquered kind of moment right there <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it was it was <laughs> yeah. That was a memorable, like, little moment there, for sure. Do, do, do Bad Waitress shows tend to be very wild? Like, do do the people in the crowd tend to, like, really go wild for, for during the sets? Um, you know, it always depends. Like, I feel like some shows we play, like, a lot of the shows we play in order to, like, get a new audience, like, no one knows who we are. And that yeah. can be kind of, like, weird, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, like... But, like, when we do, like, house shows and, like, punk shows and shit, it's always, like, good. You know, I, like, I prefer a fucking, like, cramped fucking shitty fucking house per to, like, a big venue, you know? Absolutely. Like, everybody's disgusting, sweaty, and, like, obviously that's not going to happen right now. But mm -hmm, I just, mm -hmm. yeah, I fucking miss that for sure. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle. Uh, Kyle had nothing but great things to say about you, and he's like, he's like, you got to interview Callie from Bad Waitress. You got to interview Callie, and I was like, all right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> but but after talking to him, he said that uh, when he was partying, he said nobody could party like Callie. Uh, nobody, he could hardly keep up with you. Um, is have things changed? Or are you still quite a party animal? Uh, <laughs> uh, not much to say change. <laughs> you know, I'm still pretty much an animal. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I but, I think uh, that I think that's for a lot of us though. I mean, like a lot of people in the music scene, we love to party. Like that's just it's yeah, it's a social thing too, right? Yeah, and honestly, it's it's fun. It's fine to party, but it's you know you, you don't want to become an asshole too. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. You know, keep it under wraps, I guess. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> good call. Good call. So, when um when did you start playing music? Like you were saying, like that you you got you have a bunch of different influences, but when did you start playing music? Was it were you young when you started playing? Um. So, I was like, I I grew up in the Northwest Territories, right? So I didn't. Oh really wow. There wasn't really much going on in the way of music, but I used to like, I used to write little songs and like sing them a cappella <laughs> to my dad, or like I'd ask in like assembly if I could do it, you know? <laughs> and like, mm. so I kind of just started out doing that. And then my like first instrument I took up was uh, drums when I was like 15 in yep. board school in Saskatchewan. And then, and then I started getting into guitar and, yeah so but like singing was like the main thing i wanted to do cool and and you must have moved around a lot eh? if you were born in northwest territories and a little bit of saskatchewan there and uh then ontario like you moved yeah. around a lot eh? yeah I've, I've, 
I've, uh... <laughs> I've fucked with enough parts of the country. <laughs> now I <laughs> well, gotta spread that... out and go see the rest of the world and fuck with them, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. It must add a different element to touring, though, as well. Like, when you, like, visit some of these towns, you're like, ah, I've been there. I've been there. Where a lot of people are like, wow, look at this place. <laughs> you yeah, know I, mean? I mean, like, Canada's not, like, you know, like, I went, like, every place, like, I mean, yeah, when you go out, like, I've been a lot in the bush in Canada not yeah. like not like necessarily like a lot of cities necessarily <laughs> so yeah no uh, I feel you yeah. so so Kelly where can people find your music I mean um obviously I know all platforms uh bad waitress do you guys have like uh like a website that people can check out or anything along those lines or in, what's your Instagram? Um, you can check us out on like pretty much anything like Spotify, iTunes, the Instagram, the Facebook, the, we Twitter. We have a Twitter, but like, you know, fuck. I don't know. Nobody what uses is Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Trump does. <laughs> uh, and like teenagers. But yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty much just uh, go to the Google. Go to the Google and type in Bad Waitress Band and not the restaurant and you will find us. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect, perfect. I, I hope uh, the the reviews on Yelp for your restaurant, uh, Bad Waitress, are doing great as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I better check that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Uh, thank you very much, Callie. And um, everybody, please go check out Bad Waitress because I love this band. Like, they are so <laughs> much fun to listen to. If you want to run through a wall because you're just so amped up, that's the band to listen to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so thank you again, Cal. You have a great evening. All right. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Talk to you. Yeah. Peace. See you around.